Lockup features another Paul Dini creation that was eventually used in the DC Comics Universe main continuity. Popular, well-known characters like Renee Montoya, Harley Quinn, and Lyle Bolton all were adapted. Okay, so Bolton, aka the titular Lockup, may not be as well-known as the first two listed there. Was he interesting enough to warrant use in more stories? Lyle Bolton is the overzealous chief of security at Arkham Asylum, who tortures the inmates there. He's so cruel that an inquest is set up to address allegations made against him. Most of the patients are too afraid to speak against their tormentor, but when the ventriloquist of all people desperately calls him out, the other inmates admit to his brutal behavior, and Bolton is fired. Showing his true colors, Lyle lunges at his accusers and gets in a physical altercation with the orderlies, all while threatening the criminals. They're all scum! You should be beaten within an inch of your misbegotten lives! In a rant that reverberates around the asylum, Bolton expands his hatred from the inmates to include what he considers the true cause of Gotham's problems. The gutless police! mindless bureaucrats, and coddling doctors! He even blames the news for their coverage of Gotham's lawbreakers. Look at the way these monsters are turned into heroes. It all starts with the permissive liberal media. Six months then pass. When a kidnapping attempt on reporter Summer Gleason occurs, Batman springs into action. The perpetrator is a large armored figure named Lockup, who Batman quickly identifies as Lyle Bolton. Bolton gets away with Gleason and, soon after, also abducts Arkham's Dr. Bartholomew, Commissioner Gordon, and Mayor Hill. It's up to Batman and Robin to track down Lockup's personal prison and stop his warped, barbaric way of cleaning up the city. Another fine villain made possible by a grant from the Wayne Foundation. That's right. Lyle was brought into Arkham by a Wayne Foundation grant. I think that informs some of Bruce's mindset here. He was probably hoping to get someone at Arkham who could keep the prisoners from constantly escaping. After all, Before I came here, Arkham was a revolving door for every maniac in Gotham. It's a great point that I'm glad the show started addressing. How long can innocent people keep getting hurt by the same offenders before someone takes more drastic steps than Batman to stop them? While Batman can, of course, be very aggressive in his apprehension of these criminals, we've seen him be compassionate to them when necessary. Harley's Holiday and Second Chance both just showed that. I've seen how you treat your prisoners. Forgotten and scared. Without hope or compassion. Can it be you actually care for those creatures? Fighting fire with fire may not sound bad in the moment, but Bolton's way of doing things would have probably only escalated Gotham's problems. This city is an open wound begging to be stitched. When he goes after the figureheads of the government, the media, and the police force, he crosses another line that makes him clearly in the wrong. If they wanted to make him more sympathetic and blur the line a bit more, adding a personal connection to one of the tragedies someone like Joker or Scarecrow committed could have had us on his side a bit more. But as adult as BTAS could be, I'm not sure this kind of moral gray area would have gone over well at Fox Kids at the time. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure Paul Dini, writers Marty Eisenberg and Robert N. Skur, and director Dan Reba knew what kind of story they wanted to tell. And it works! Lockup certainly brought up some interesting points of view that I was excited to talk about here. This was the last episode Eisenberg and Skur helped write for the show, following his Silicon Soul and What is Reality. They have a strong body of work there, and would return for an episode of Superman the Animated Series. After following a few clues, the dynamic duo discover Bolton is holding his prisoners on a decommissioned ship, the USS Halsey. That same ship was used to hold inmates while Stonegate Penitentiary was being constructed, and Bolton was the security chief for the whole operation. Our heroes tussle with lockup, which sends the ship off course and into a patch of sharp rocks. They cut into the hull and begin to sink the Halsey. Batman and Bolton battle as Robin rescues the prisoners. Eventually, the Dark Knight bests Lockup in an unseen underwater fight, and the day is saved. Ironically, Bolton is sent to Arkham Asylum, where he's locked in with the same people he mistreated. But Lyle seems ready for the challenge, as the episode concludes. Now I can keep an eye on everyone. They'll never slip past me again. I enjoyed Lockup for the reasons stated earlier. While it doesn't crack my favorites list, it's worth a recommendation. 
A new, under-the-radar, long-lasting character was created who was still used once in a while in the comics. It's got a few funny moments, especially with Scarface and the Ventriloquist. Mr. Bolton, he's a... A hard worker. A real stand-up guy. No complaints here, Chief. He helped me over a can filled with termites. You hear me? Termites! The music by Christopher Carter and Brian Langsbard had some great moments as well. Their use of the Batman theme in one particular scene was fantastic. If there's anything to complain about in this episode, it's minor. The animation could have been stronger, and I usually dislike when someone not on the same level as Batman gets the one up on him in a fair physical altercation, but that only really happens once and doesn't affect the positive outlook I had on this installment. Find this one, lock it down, and check it out.